So this is my final blog presentation and obviously my blog is called Utah Skiing and I guess I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is show you the competitors that I have been looking at that I have kind of based my blog off of. The first one is Ski Utah. They're obviously the most um, common, most well-known ski blog out here in the state of Utah. Um, and I really actually liked a lot of the things that they were doing on their blog and kind of tried to copy them over to what I was doing. I'm going to show you right here. This is the Ski Utah blog. Um, pretty simple, not too much going on. I actually really liked what they were doing with their the way that they set up their blogs. Kind of in this format where you can scroll down, click on the different blogs, you can see what's separated from what, kind of what's going on here. Um, I also like their color schemes, pretty nice, pretty easy to see. Uh, and obviously they have a lot of information that's good for just about everyone on their blog. Now the next one that I was looking into was a, a site called Ski Tiger. This one is one that I found that I um, didn't love as much. That kind of made me steer clear from other things that I didn't want to see. Um, this is what their site looked like. To me, this was just a lot of information, a lot of things that um, were kind of hard to navigate, hard to see, and generally just hard to understand. They have a lot of technical information, things like snowfall, snowpack, things like that. But overall, I just didn't think that it looked very good, so I kind of tried to steer clear from that. Next thing is the target. My um, target is the beginner skiers in the state of Utah. Um, I wanted to make sure that I covered the basics of everything that I was doing, everything about skiing. Um, all the blogs that I have found were for generally just anyone who skied, whether they're, it was advanced, beginner, or moderate. Um, so I kind of just wanted to make sure that I tackled just the beginners covered the basics of things that needed to get done. Um, and as far as my positioning goes, that kind of put me in a good position because there are no blogs out right now that are just for beginners. So if I could get my name out, get my site out, I could have a good positioning in that aspect. Now I'm going to jump over real quick to my blog. So this is what I created. This is my Utah Skiing blog. Um, as far as the template goes, as I said before, this is kind of how the Ski Utah site was set up. They have their different blogs in different spots, super easy to access, fun pictures that are kind of engaging. Um, and as far as the color scheme goes, I did a kind of a cream background. I was toying with the idea of doing some kind of blue to keep it kind of in the skiing realm. But as I saw here, um, there's a lot of blue in my pictures and it didn't really look so good. So I stuck with the white cream background and just the black text. Now, this is my how-to video right here. Obviously, I've got my description down below, but this is what I did for my how-to video. Today, we're going to show you how to As I said do before, it was a an adjustment by adjustment My blog is for the beginners. Settings so this is why I did this how-to video. Use skis or any skis that you really um, are going to be using for the season coming up. This is a useful tip to um, I mean, in case you're going to buy skis second hand, they're never really going to come your size or your DIN setting. So this is a good way just to save some time and money to do it yourself. So first of all, obviously the ski binding is too big for my boot. So what I'm going to do, come back to this back over here. And this little screw back in the back of the binding, simple as this, right is going to tighten the binding down. 
left is going to loosen it up. So what I'm doing right here is just making this gap smaller. Um, what that's doing is just sitting snug on my boot. I'm going to crank it down until it kind of fits snugly in there. That is going to be perfect for my boot here. Now, as we can see, the boot gets in there snugly. So I don't know if I'm supposed to do it. Now the next the thing video. now looks like it's at about the tip. So this little screen, right, that little here. here. I'm gonna crank it down. You get the gist of what's going on there. Um, next thing I'm gonna talk about is the advertising. So what I'm planning to do is link through to all of the sites that I am referencing here. Like for example, these, this blog post of the Essential Ski Gear. I name a bunch of things and I am going to um, link their site through to mine, hopefully in the fact that they will link my site to theirs, showing that they can get discounts to get different things through my blog. Um, same thing with the resorts. I talk about Snowbird here. I talk about my experience at Brighton, Deer Valley, Park City. Um, I just need to be able to link my site to theirs and their site to mine. That is the way that I think I would be able to get most advertising out. Um, next thing, one of the things that I think would be essential for this blog is um, through giveaways and promotions. Skiing, as we all know, is a very expensive sport. And if I'm able to offer different discounts, different um, discounted lift tickets, or even give away free things to these top ski resorts in Utah, or when I'm talking about Snowbird, when I'm talking about Brighton, um, be able to give things away to those resorts. Next, um, I'm just going to talk about the measurable metrics real quick. So as we know, through WordPress, you are able to see kind of what's going on, how your blog is doing. Now, obviously, I have not pushed to get my blog out in any way so far. So just through looking at who's clicking on what posts, which ones are my most popular, um, my visitors, my likes, my comments, I will be able to see how my blog's doing and know how to promote my blog even more so that I can get those numbers on the up and up. Um, like I said before, my marketing strategies are just kind of going to be to get through and to link through to other people. That is going to be the best way because the ski community is a community that's very tight together. They like to stick together. They like to share deals, share discounts, share the information that they have. So if I'm able to link through to the Ski Utah website or be able to get featured on one of their blog posts, something like that, I know for, I know for, I know for a fact that um, my blog will increase in traffic and increase in the people coming to my site. Um, in close, sorry, I just wanted to say how much I've learned from this project. Um, first of all, I really had no idea how important a blog could be or how effective a blog could be. I know that um, I haven't, I mean myself, I haven't looked too far into different blogs and things, but through this class, and seeing the amount of people that can be reached, um, the amount of things where you can link through to your Instagram, to your Facebook, um, it's really just a place to make a massive amount of connections. So through this blog, I have loved that I can share who I am, what I am, what I love, and just get the information out that needs to be out there for the skiers in this world. Um, overall, I've loved doing this project, and I hope you've enjoyed my blog. Thanks.